A pregnant woman is shot and killed by Seattle police. Plus, a man is accused of impersonating an officer and suspects sought in a pharmacy burglary. Hello and thank you for joining us from the ABC Columbia studio. I'm Kimberly Davis. Here are your trending headlines for Tuesday, June 20th. Two Seattle police officers have been taken off patrol after they were involved in the shooting death of a pregnant mother of four. The officers were called to the woman's home for a burglary report and they say she had a knife. Hana Kim reports. Where's my nieces and nephews? The grief of losing Charlena Lyles worsened by the confusion. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because it's very very sad. Friends say if you knew Charlena, you would know she was a struggling mother going through some hard times. She did what she, everything she could for her kids. She lived for them. Friends and family are still asking why two police officers use deadly force. She didn't deserve that. No, she did it. Charlena has a long criminal history, arrested 26 times. Police were familiar with Charlena, but yesterday they say she pulled a knife on the officers after calling 911 herself, reporting an attempted burglary. You guys could have tased her or anything. She's no threat. Family members rushing to the scene yesterday, overcome by emotions. Take her to mental health. She has mental health issues. Today, strangers hearing about Charlena came by with heavy hearts. I show up here today expecting, you know, that there's people holding vigil and it's it's empty. And I just can't. It blows my mind. This man says police need to be trained better when it comes to de-escalating crisis situations. It's something every Seattle police officer is trained on. In any case like this, it's so important to understand the facts of the case before jumping to conclusions. Sue Rar trains officers on using non-lethal force to place themselves in situations to take cover or escape when being attacked. Although Rar cannot comment on Charlena's case, Rar says no amount of training is enough for some cases. There's not a simple standard response to a firearm and a simple standard response to a knife. There are so many other things that come into play. If you are in a small confined space and something very unexpected happens, there's almost no time to, to react to that. Charlena's friends are still left with unanswered questions. It's so many different ways it could have been handled. Lyles' children were inside the home at the time of the shooting. They are now being cared for by family. Back at home, Lexington police are looking for a man who claimed to be a U.S. Marshal. Authorities say this man impersonated an officer while at two Midlands GameStop locations. The suspect is accused of telling employees at the Sunset Boulevard and Broad River Road locations that he needed to inspect the gaming consoles. Police say the man presented a badge, was wearing handcuffs, and may have been armed with a gun. If you know who the suspect is, contact Crime Stoppers, the number 888-CRIME-SC. Also call Crime Stoppers if you have any information about an early morning burglary at a pharmacy in Whitmire. Two suspects are wanted by the Whitmire Police and Newberry County Sheriff's Office after being caught on camera just before one this morning, stealing prescription medication from Roach Pharmacy. If you have any information about this case, call Crime Stoppers or 803-321-2222. Join us for news, weather, sports, and more on air, online, and on the ABC Columbia mobile app. Be sure to watch episodes of Downward Dog, The Middle, Blackish, American Housewife, and Fresh Off the Boat. Then stay tuned for the news at 11. I'm Kimberly Davis. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and thanks for watching.